G'day, thanks for joining us for Saturday Afternoon Football. Dennis Cometti here. It's good to be back. Boy, did I miss it here in Burbank. It's a real winter's day. Joining me is former Richmond full forward, the great Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Should be a great one today. Today's match, the Tigers and Essendon. Werribee look tense as they shuffle onto the field. We have the toss of the coin. The Tigers kicking to the right of screen. Round three. A diet of interstate travel for... The siren is yet to sound. They say all things come to those who wait. But I'm starting to wonder if anyone will be around to hear it. Nothing like an opening bounce, right, Richard? If you train hard, you'll not only be hard, but you'll be hard to beat. We will see as this game unfolds which team has put in the hard yards. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. 45 metres out. Simpkin going for number one. Strong mark. Boots it. No question there. It's a free. Ramsey lining up. 20 metres from home. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't slot this one through. Going for goal number one. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Gets his first. Ramsey gets the first goal of the match. He's loving that replay, and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Bill Chambers taps. Gets it away in the nick of time. Bert doesn't waste that opportunity. McGrath isn't able to hang on to the mark as it's punched away. He mightn't be taking them often himself, but he's always getting a fist in the way of the opposition. He gets boot to the ball. Passes by hand. Junker kicks it. It was all his. <laughs> Ramsey lines it up 50 metres from home. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Sends the Sharon on its way. Great mark. Simpkin setting his sights on the goals. Going for goal number one. Perfect kick. Gets his first. That's two in a row for the Tigers. The Bombers in trouble. They need to get a move on. The bounce. Bell Chambers has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Brown boots it. Sending it on its way. He boots it. Great grab over the top. Sending it on its way. Brown, with real good use of the body. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. He's elected to play on. Going for goal number one. Well, for me, a few words come to mind for that kick, but none of them are allowed on air. What are your thoughts, Richo? One word, Dennis. Disgraceful. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Takes that one strongly. Green just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Going for goal number one. It's going. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Kicks it. Watson, a good crummer, goes up the line. He gets a kick out of the pack. 
Morgan looking to make them pay for that turnover. Slips the handball to Bill Chambers. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Merritt doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the league, but he's certainly very, very handy on the lead. Junker gains possession. He grabs the footy. Maynard gains the loose ball. He hand passes it. <laughs> ball up. Redmond on for Essendon. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. Kicked by Junker. Takes that one strongly. Look, the Bombers haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. He steadies now in front of goal. Clark takes a shot. Clark slots through a much needed goal. All is in readiness. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Takes control of the bouncing ball. McGrath catches it. Jams it on the boot. Strong mark. Junker really wears his heart on his sleeve. He boots it. He gets the upper hand. He gets boot to the ball. The mark will be paid. Sends the Sharon on its way. Hands like dinner plates. The spiraling torpedo from D. Strong mark. Mountford with a perfect drop punt. Controlled by Clark. He takes control of the loose ball. He brings it out of the pack. Simpkin in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. 35 meters out. He's on a 30 degree angle. A chance to add one more to his tally. He kicks it gun barrel straight. The Tigers, players with massive smiles on their faces now. They needed that. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Has it now. He gets a kick out of the pack. Brown has it. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. A low stabbing kick. Merritt with the mark. He kicks it. It's going. You don't have to wait and see that that's a goal. His fist is pumping. Essendon won't be so desperate after that goal. Merritt is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Junker with the ball. Chips it down towards half forward. The bouncing ball is controlled. Good mark by Simkin. He surely won't miss from this distance. He kicks it. Oh my goodness. Werribee in front. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the center bounce. Tapped by Bill Chambers. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He just can't get out of the action. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. And he's heading for home. Gets it away in the nick of time. He gets a kick out of the pack. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Redmond with a clinical drop punt. Here's a chance for McGrath. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. Jams it on the boot now. Great grab. This is a great angle to kick from. He gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. Two goals will see Essendon in the lead.
and that's the end of the first term. Werribee, 24, took Essendon, 14. Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. Lots of points scored during that opening term. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. The Tigers with 25 kicks and Essendon with 17 kicks. Not much in it. Much appreciated, Richo. Here we go again, quarter number two. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder and give more than anyone else. Simpkin controls. Having a big day going for goal number four. It looked like a goal, but it grazed the post. Werribee leads by 11. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Looks like he panicked there. McKinnon takes the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark by Bird. Bird. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. McGrath slams the ball to his boot, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Begley shoots for goal. Durden with the catch. Get some power behind that one. A great effort. He kicks the ball forward, and the mark will be paid. Chip kick along the wing. Strong mark. Green slams it on the boot. The contest, no match for him. Sends it on its way. And the ball goes over the boundary line. The umpire has released the ball. Kept alive under pressure. Does well to keep it in play. Quick hands find the running player. Langdon picks it up. Kicks into the forward line. Hartley doesn't waste that opportunity. Superb handball. Able to grab it on the half volley. Stewart comes away with the ball. He gains possession. Bird kicks. Takes that one strongly. Booted by Green. Nice mark under pressure. Bird is quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. Francis slams the ball to his boot. Maynard with a strong mark. He plays on now. Nice work from Bird. Gets boot to high. Catch by Merrick. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Nice contested mark by Maynard. Nice drop punt. Nice work from Bill Chambers. Francis on the lead. Nice hands. No questioning whether the Bombers can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. The Bombers need to start kicking more direct for goal. Bird slams the ball to his boot, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. He boots it. He takes a strong mark. Brown will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. Well, if you could handpick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. 50 metres from home. Solid catch. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. So close, but just a behind. The Bombers can catch up from here. They're less than two goals down. He's looking for options now. Junker with the mark. Bumps the pigskin. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Bumps the pigskin. Nice mark under pressure. Kick by Stewart. Hands like dinner plates. Gets boot to high. Caught. Slams it on the boot. Able to grab it on the half volley. Down goes Clark. 
Clark sends one up towards the wing. Wins the handball. Bird is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contest because he just isn't making an impression there. He takes the contested mark. Ahern with the shot. The mark will be paid. Ramsey lines it up. Famous last words I know, but this is a goal he shouldn't miss. Going for goal number two. Chalk up a goal for the Tigers. Goal number two for Ramsey. Kicks a goal they badly needed. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. There's the bounce. Takes possession. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Hands like dinner plates. Simpkin lining up. Too far out to score, surely. Simpkin taking a chance at goal. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Ahern with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. The Tigers with the upper hand in this match, and it shows on the scoreboard, leading 32 to 15. Hartley can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Kept his composure then. Green kicks the ball. He gets the upper hand. Morgan looking for distance. He gets it under pressure. Nice bit of power then. He wins the contested mark. Slams it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Gets boot to leather. The mark is taken by Bird. It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. Great grab. Well, it's half time. What have you got to say, Richo? Besides pride, loyalty, discipline, heart and mind, confidence is the key to all the locks, and Werribee had plenty of that running into the long break. Let's go to Richo now and take a look at the stats. Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. We're halfway through the game now. I can't wait for the next half. Well, the players have had a good rest and they look refreshed, ready for the third term. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. Puts boot to ball. Hartley gets the upper hand. Choose to kick it. Solid catch. Kick by Morgan. Amazing specky by Green. Sends it on its way. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Works it across the ground. Ramsey has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Kicking from about a 30-degree angle here. That had some power behind it. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. A three-goal lead for Werribee. Teammate scrambling to make a lead. Marks. Kicks it. Great mark. Booted by McKenna. The mark is taken by Bill Chambers. Bill Chambers is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. McGrath boots it long. Watson, just the better man in that contest. 
He slams that on the boot. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. He controls the bouncing ball, lobs the handball. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Great mark under pressure. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 25 metres out. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Ahern. Wax one on the boot for goal. Werribee starting to exert some dominance over the Bombers with a lead of 34 to 15. Hartley is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. He takes the contested mark. He boots it. Stewart with good strong hands. He slams that on the boot. Bird with the catch. He kicks the ball. That's a mark. Bell Chambers puts his boot on it. Clark claims the ball. Clark sends one up towards the wing. Merritt takes the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Solid catch. Kicks it. The contest, no match for him. He chooses to play on. Gets boot to high. A mark by Junker. He decides to play on. Chips it down towards half forward. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. He decides to play on. Chips it down towards half forward. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. McKenna with the football. Well, the, the Tigers coach will be grinning from ear to ear. There's nothing more pleasing for a coach than seeing a strong team cohesion and discipline. And that's been on display right up to now. The Tigers has barely coughed up a free. He lays off the pass. Junker has a kick. Ah, the kick is no good. Hartley gets set to kick it back in. Mountford catches it. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Great mark under pressure. Simpkin getting into position for the kick. 25 metres out. Simpkin whacks one on the boot for goal. Chalk up a goal for the Tigers. Simpkin making the lead bigger. That's three in a row for Werribee. The Tigers lead the Bombers by 26. Has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. He's loving that replay <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. He's got the footy in his hands. Junker slams it on the boot. Scoops up the bouncing ball. A lot of possessions for him. Ahern gets the upper hand. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. A goal for the Tigers. Ahern increases the lead. Werribee with a handy break leading the Bombers 47 to 15. The Tigers were just playing kick to kick out there and have barely had to crumb a loose ball in the forward line. The Ruckman giving each other the ice cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. Bill Chambers timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Bird has the ball. He picks up the loose ball, kicks hurriedly. Watson gains possession. Watson feeds it wide. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Morgan with the kick. Bill Chambers presents and takes the mark. Even though Essendon were behind on the scoreboard, I think they'd be proud of their dominance in the marking contests, and so they should be. He hand passes it. He puts power behind that kick. Hartley really forced to earn that mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. He gives the ball away. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Ahern got under it. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. That's five in a row for Werribee. The Tigers by 38. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. There's the bounce. 
He gains possession, delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Langdon gets the ball, approaching the goals now. With no time to spare, he gets the ball away. Hartley got a really good footballing brain. A great mark under pressure. He boots it. That's a great grab. Dean boots it. Stewart with the air time. Stewart slams it on the boot. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. A lovely drop punt. Marks. Gets boot to high. A good turn with the Tigers 53 to Essendon 15. I don't give Essendon much of a chance going into this last change. They simply haven't shown enough today to suggest they're any threat. There's the siren for the end of the third quarter. The scores at Werribee 53 to the Bombers 15. They have been pretty wasteful in this match and if they lose they will look back and rue the missed opportunities. Let's take a look at the stats Richo. Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. Werribee with 75 and the Bombers with 65. It doesn't get much closer than that. The Tigers and the Bombers are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. After the break, the players should be eager to get started and finish the game with a win for their side. Even when you've played the game of your life, it's the feeling of teamwork that you'll remember. You'll forget the marks, the tackles and the goals, but you'll never forget your teammates. The umpire calls advantage. Plenty of time left on the clock, but it will be an uphill battle to close that margin. He's looking for options now. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Sends it on its way. Solid catch. Works it across the ground. He wins the contest. Clark kicks. And the mark will be paid. Kicks it. He picks up the loose ball. Takes possession. Ahern picks up the loose ball. Simpkin catches. Simpkin tries his luck with a shot at goal. Deep with the catch. Kicks it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Morgan puts it on the boot. Wagner heads in for the goals. Exclamation point. How about that? Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Ramsey taking aim, 35 metres out. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. He gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. If this game were being played on water, Werribee would be walking on it. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. McKenna just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. He kicks the ball. The mark will be paid. He kicks the ball. McGrath catches it. Jams it on the boot. Bird has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Kicks it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Kicks it. Caught by Mooch. A lovely drop punt. A good mark under the circumstances. Wagner off the side of his boot. Simpkin spoils. Now that miss could prove costly. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Hartley has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle.
McKenna, the better man there. Stabs the ball. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Well, Essendon haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. That's a mark. Clark slams the ball to his boot. Bird with the mark. Stabs the ball. Merritt looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Boots it. Caught. Kicks it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. He gets it under pressure. He goes the short option. Langdon picks it up. Approaching the goals now. Steady hands there as he holds that one. No questioning whether Essendon can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. The Bombers need to start kicking more direct for goal. McKenna gets the catch. McKenna sends one up towards the wing. A great effort. Looks like he panicked there. Good mark on the run. A desperate kick there. The mark is taken by Ur. Kicks. Nice mark there. Sends it on its way. Merritt claims the ball. Gets boot to leather. He wins the contest. The Tigers have just been so dominant in the marking contest and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Puts boot to ball. And the ball crosses over the boundary. The umpire will toss it back in. It gets tapped. Langdon with the ball. He puts power behind that kick. Great grab over the top. McKenna sends the ball on its way. Solid catch. Straight down the field. Great mark under pressure. Jams it on the boot. Bill Chambers grabs that one. Bell Chambers. He's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. Sending it on its way. He takes a strong mark. Merritt slams the ball to his boot. Mountford gets the catch. Jams it on the boot now. Strong mark by Clark. A short handball. Nice one too. Squeezes out a handball. Sweeping handball. Booted by Bill Chambers. Bird claims it. Gets boot to high. Merritt the better man there. Jams it on the boot. Snatches at it and drops it. He's as twitchy as a frog in a blender. Chalk up a goal for Essendon. Bigley. With a sigh of relief, you can see it on his face as he nails a crucial goal. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Essendon woeful. More gaps in their team than a seven-year-old smile. The Tigers established their dominance early and never looked like losing. Werribee won the match against the Bombers, 55 to 22. Well, that's all we have time for. We only part to meet again, maybe next weekend. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball.